Gospel of the Lord, September the 8th, 2013, Luke 14, 33 Great crowds accompanied Jesus on his way, and he turned and spoke to them. Anyone who comes to me without taking father, mother, wife, children, brothers, sisters, yes, and his own life too, cannot be my disciple. No one who does not carry his cross and come after me can be my disciple. And indeed, which of you here, intending to build a tower, would not first sit down and work out the cost to see if he had enough to complete it? Otherwise, if he laid the foundation and then found himself unable to finish the work, anyone who saw it would start making fun of him and saying, here is someone who started to build and was unable to finish. Or again, what king marching to war against another king would not first sit down and consider whether with 10,000 men he could stand up to the other who was advancing against him with 20,000? If not, then while the other king was still a long way off, he would send envoys to sue for peace. So, in the same way, none of you can be my disciple without giving up all that he owns. Gospel of the Lord, praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. It comes to my mind that gospel, that part of the gospel, when he says that a man found a treasure and so happy in a, in, in a land, in a, in a lot, and so happy for it, he goes out and sells everything he owns in order to buy that land so that he could keep the treasure. Today the Lord is explaining to us in yet another way how do we need to follow him? How can we become true disciples? He says, anyone who comes to me without hating, hating, do we have to really hate our father, our parents, our wife, our children, our brothers, and even our life? He says that otherwise we cannot be his disciple. It's not exactly that we have to hate in, the t in terms of wanting to destroy or wanting to harm. But what it says, it's another way of saying that we have to love God with all our hearts, with all our minds, with all our souls, with all our strength, above everything. And it completes with the one in the end. None of you can be my disciple without giving up all that he owns. Following Christ is very hard to say the least. And we have to be completely decided. We have to have made up our mind completely. And then still with all our effort we need his grace. Because on our own we cannot follow him. And he knows that. He knows that it's not an easy enterprise. And he wants us not to fool ourselves, not to become foolish. He wants us to know that if we want to attain salvation, we have to follow him. And in order to enter heaven, we have to give up all that we apparently own. But do not fear, because blessed and soon to be signed. John Paul II used to say, Do not be afraid. Christ does not take away anything, and he gives everything. And it's true. But we have to understand what the Lord is telling us today. No one who does not carry his cross and come after me can be my disciple. Perhaps many of us would like to follow Jesus Christ on a mental way on a pious way, praying a little bit here, perhaps going to Mass every now and then, saying, wearing even a cross on our chest. But that is not what He wants us to do. He wants us to go after Him, to give up sometimes a bit of our comfort, a bit of our rest, or a lot, depending on how He is leading us 
to which place, and we have to be ready. And then he says, if you plan to follow me, you have to be careful. You have to consider if you have enough, if you are decided to really give up what you have to give up, if you have enough to complete like the tower. If you will be able to go to war with 10,000 against 20,000. We have to sit down and consider carefully and make a decision if Jesus, our Lord, is really worth everything that you have. Of course, when we think carefully about it, it's so obvious. Because what do you have? Perhaps you're young, perhaps you're 20 years old. And you can say, well, I'm, I'm, presumably I'll, I'll live up to 85, to 90 years old. So, okay, you're 20 now. You're talking about 70 good years. That would not be good, all of them. Because that by the time that you're 75 or 70, depending on your health, it will be downhill. What is 50 years compared with a million years, compared with a thousand million, with a million million. <laughs> it's nothing. What is it that you can have? One house, three house, ten house, houses. What is that compared to the whole universe? You could be talking about many things, but nothing None of the things are, can measure up to really finding God and having God and with God everything else. But we have to be decided. We have to have made up our mind. And we have, once we have decided, we have to desire, we have to will, and we have to do everything we can and still be humble and ask for Jesus' grace that we might walk behind him. He does not want us to really hate our parents, wife, children, and brothers, but he wants us to love them through his love, through God's love, not through our own. And that's the change of giving up everything that we own or what we think we own in order to own only and everything that God owns in his terms that is exactly what he's saying and we have to give up everything in order to get everything really everything because when we decide to follow Christ what we will be getting is God himself and with him everything else. If it's hard for us to understand or if, it hard, or if it's hard for us to decide, let us pray humbly to the Father Almighty that he might pour on us his Holy Spirit, that this Spirit will come to us like a flame that will burn greatly in his love that might burn all our doubts all our negligences all our sins that we might become pure in his love and so loving that we will not be afraid to go after him he truly is our savior he truly is everything that your heart really yearns for. He is the truth that you seek. He is the love that you want. He is the life that you need. He is the good that you, that you enjoy. Everything inside you and me look for him, but yet Sometimes, many times, we don't know. We ask the Virgin Mary to intercede for us 
and to take us by her hand and teach us really how to be true disciples of, his, of her son. God bless you all, brothers.